Good morning, boys and girls. This is Farm Camp. My name is Mrs. Cisneros, and today we're gonna talk about Hidalgo and friends. So let's go meet some of his friends. Let's go, Hidalgo. <laughs> So here we have Macy. This is Macy. And we have Peaches. Come over here, Melanie. Come say hi. Come on. This is Melanie. And we have our little pygmy goat, Zeke. And, oh, there goes Macy. <laughs> And we have Bonnie and Nan and Valentine. Let's go meet Hidalgo's big buddy friends. California Sunrise, and she's a mare, which is a female horse. So she's a girl. And then we have, this is Texie Two-Step. And this is actually Hidalgo's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Kansas Gray Dog, and he is a gelding, which is another word for a male horse. So hi Kansas. So let's look at Hidalgo. Come around here. Around this way. Hidalgo is a pony. So he is basically a miniature horse. So look at his size compared to me. He's the kind of horse that you wouldn't want to ride. But we'll talk about his job later. So first we're gonna talk about Hidalgo's body parts. This part of a horse is his head and nose. At the end, we call this a muzzle. Right now he's wiggling his muzzle because he's he feels me tickling his nose, his muzzle. And this part, this long hair right here on his neck and on the top of his head is called a mane. These are called his ears. They're nice and fuzzy, and he doesn't mind me touching his ears. Huh. And then we have back here his tail. Hidalgo has a really nice long tail. And he also has his feet are called hooves. Right here, this very bottom part is called a hoof. And his hooves grow just like your fingernails and your toenails grow. So every so often we have to trim them and hire somebody to come and trim them for us. How many hooves does Hidalgo have? Four, you're right. with Hidalgo and Kansas. So what can you see that's different about Hidalgo and Kansas? Well, obviously their size. Hidalgo is much smaller than Kansas. Their color is very different. Hidalgo is a dark chocolate brown color with a black mane. Kansas is more gray with freckles and more white and gray. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but you will also notice that there are some things that are the same about them. Kansas also has a mane, ears, a nose, and a muzzle. It's just a very different size than Hidalgo. Kansas also has a tail and 
and he has four hooves just like a doggo. But he's much bigger. So now we're going to talk about how we care for horses. And the way we care for them is the same as with a pony. And there are some very important things that you must do to take good care of your ponies and your horses. Another word that I want to teach you today is horsemanship. And that word means the connection between humans and horses and understanding them and how to care for them. So one of the ways we care for horses is brushing them. These are two different types of brushes that we use to care for a horse, to keep them clean. And every time you take out a horse from their pen, it's important to brush them down first. It's a time when you can connect with your horse, it feels good to them, and it also gets rid of little things like this where he's scratched himself with his muzzle and made a little sticky part here. And it's a nice way to, to make them feel better. So there's two different kinds of brushes that you use on a horse. This is called a curry comb. It's metal, it has little spikes on it. But don't worry, it doesn't hurt him. His skin is really thick, so it actually feels good, like somebody scratching your back. And this one is a soft bristle brush. So the way I'm gonna use these is at the same time, one after the other. Now I'm gonna start with the curry comb, and it's gonna get, by the way, he's shedding. <laughs> it's gonna get a lot of that dirt clods or anything that's on his hair that's bothering him. And then I'm gonna go back over it with the soft brush. So he's got both going on at the same time. And you can see that. Why do you think he's losing his hair? If you said, because it's getting warmer outside, you're right, it's just like your dog or your cat, they lose their winter coat this time of year. Oops. Look at all that. <laughs> so to him, this feels good. He likes this. It's like getting a little back scratch and a rub down. Another important tool to have for caring for a horse is a hoof pick. And this is important for cleaning the horse's hooves. You need to do that every time you take out your horse to go for a ride or to do a job. And this is how you use it. So you hold the hoof pick like this and you go down the side of the horse's leg to the bottom until he picks up his foot. And then you start digging out all the poop and the old hay that's in here that he's been walking on. So it's nice and clean. This part of the hoof is called the frog. This is the heel and this is the hoof. Now Hidalgo's hooves are a little long, so tomorrow we're going to have somebody come called a farrier and he's gonna trim that for him so it's better on his feet. Another really important part of horsemanship is making sure that your horse or pony has a job to do. So what do you think Hidalgo's job is? Besides being really cute, <laughs> his job is to pull a cart and we're gonna show you how that works. But before we do that, what do you think Kansas's job is? He's a big horse. Kansas's job is to carry a human on his back for horseback riding. And we use him for both pleasure riding on trails and for competitions. This is a round pen. And this is where we exercise our horses every day. It is important to bring your horse out here to get his wiggles out or her wiggles out before you make him do his job. So for Hidalgo, we're gonna work him a little bit in the round pen so he gets his wiggles out, even though right now he's pretty still. 
but he'll get excited in a second here and he'll get his wiggles out so we can put him on a cart and have better control over him. By the way, what shape do you think the round pin is? Is it a triangle? Is it a square? If you said circle, you're right. Good job. Now that we have Hidalgo all warmed up and ready to go, we are going to hook him up to his cart. Here is his cart, and this is his harness. So this is what his harness looks like, and this part is called a head stall, it goes around his head. This part that goes inside his mouth is called a bit, and then these parts here that are coming out of the bit are called the reins, and if you follow them all the way back, you're gonna see they go all the way back to the rider and that's how you control a horse by the reins. Okay kids, now for the activity part of today's farm camp. We're gonna make a horse that can be any color that you want. It could be one that looks like our horses or you get to pick, and a little barn. And inside the barn, when you open the doors, you're gonna write some sentences about what you learned today. My sentences say, horses have a mane, tail, muzzle, and hooves. They eat hay, horses need a job to do. And those are some things that we learned today. But you get to make up your own sentences. By the way, my barn is blue because that's all that I had. I didn't have any red construction paper. But you can make your barn whatever color you want. So when you go to print out the activity, this is on the first page. So when you go to print, you can review your print pages. You don't necessarily need to print this page. And then you'll see the parts to the barn here on two pieces of paper. You're gonna cut around the roof and around the outside big square of the barn. And then you will cut, not this part because the barn doors need to open that way. So you're gonna cut along the top and along the bottom and in the middle so you can open up your barn. This is the paper that you'll be writing your sentences on. I recommend you put the whole thing together first before writing the sentences because this part of the barn with the doors covers part of that writing paper. So you want to put it together first and then do the writing. Notice I used a legal size file folder because that's what I had that was the right size, but you can use construction paper or whatever you'd like. When you print out the horse parts, you have two choices. So you don't need to print out the whole thing. Um, this one here is the easiest one because all the parts are pretty much put together on the head and neck. And then you have the legs with the hooves and the body and the tail. Um, and then you can cut those parts out and glue them together. Or if you have somebody that loves to cut, there's a lot of little pieces to put together in this part of the horse. So there's two options. You don't need to print both, whatever option you prefer to do. So 
That's about it for our activity today. Have fun coming up with your sentence about what you learned today in my farm camp class. And have an awesome day and happy farm camp. Bye.